guys, so I have a request to do a video on my Maybelline Superstay uh, foundation. Now, let me put out there, I hate foundation. I hate, 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 hate foundation. I hate the way that it feels on my face. I, I hate foundation. I think it's awful. I, I like having a clear face and, you know, just being able to wear my skin out. And foundation to me, although it looks really pretty, I don't like the feeling of foundation. Well... I came across a video on YouTube, I forget whose it was, and they were talking about, uh, you know, the Maybelline Superstay foundation, how they really liked it, and I'm like, okay, well, I don't, I, I'll try it, I, I need to have a foundation that I can start wearing because I've noticed that my eyes are starting to get darker, darker circles, I'm, I got occasional redness and stuff, so I was like, you know what, I need to pick up a foundation, and I did, I picked it up, and it's right here, the Maybelline Superstay uh, foundation, it's really, really, really good, I got it in uh, natural tan, yeah, I got a natural tan. I really like this stuff. And for someone saying that after they've already said that they hate foundation to say that they like this stuff, that's kind of a big deal. I picked this foundation up at a Walgreens. That's the only place I've been able to find it. And I picked it up, you know, not knowing should I get it, should I not get it, you know. But I ended up getting it and I absolutely fell in love with it. Uh, what I do is I have an everyday uh, makeup routine video up for you guys and that's where I got the request to do the review on this makeup um what I showed you guys is how I like took like a a swig here 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 and here and I still do that but what I do first is that all I all I do is I shake up my foundation because I like to get the formulation you know all shook up and um what I do is I just kind of dip it, pretend the cap's off, I dip it on my, I just do this on my hand and then I flip it over and whatever's on my hand is all I use on my face and it's only a teeny, 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 teeny bit. I don't use a lot on my face, I, like I said, I don't like foundation, but even if you use, even if you do build this up to a full coverage, it still feels so good because I used to wear like a lot of this on my face, a lot, a lot, a lot, and you still, it still looked very natural, it still did not look like it was all just like, a mask on my face. It felt so good. My face didn't feel tight. It didn't feel all like there's a mask on it. It just it feels natural. And even right now, I have it on right now. Um, I only have a little bit, and I've been out sweating and stuff, and it's still looking really good. When I got my hair cut, which I got a haircut. Um, when I got my hair cut today, the woman squirted me right in my face, and my foundation stayed on, and it still looks good. My eye makeup kind of went crazy, but my foundation actually stayed on, and. I don't know, I, I really like it. It gives a really natural finish to your face and it stays on all day. When it says all day, it means it. I will put it on early in the morning and then most of my, you know, shifts are at nighttime. So I go, I wake up in the morning, I put this on for the day, I sweat where I live, there's humidity where I live and, you know, I'm sweating it all off but I don't even need to touch it up before I go to work. Sometimes I do but most of the time I don't. I, I just go straight to work and I look fine and I retouch my eye makeup but my foundation, I don't really need to retouch it. So it's definitely definitely um it's definitely something that I would say you guys should try out it's definitely affordable I got this for I think it was 11.49 or something like that um this is US dollars and yeah I love it um, I like it I tried the Revlon's uh color stay foundation and I did like that foundation but I just felt like it was way too much on my face I put it on one day and honestly I put it on in California even so it wasn't even human at all I put it on my face and it just it felt like it was seriously like a mask on my face and then when I wore it out it just completely went away so I did not like the Revlon color stay foundation so if those of you who do like that who knows if your skin will work with this foundation I'm not sure I just I really recommend this foundation I think it's so good it stays on your face all day I mean why would you want to wear a foundation where and I don't even wear primer at all I don't wear any primer on my face except for my eyelids uh, for eyeshadow that's it so for it to stay all day without a primer that's pretty good um, it has never broken me up. I have broken me out. I have yet to have gotten any redness, any breakouts from it at all. It's really good. Um, when I first apply it, it does make my face look a little greasy, but that's how all foundations make my face. Then after I put my powder on, it looks fine. Um, yeah, so I really like this. I, I definitely recommend it for those of you who need just a really good foundation that has medium to full coverage. It's really great. Um, I have normal dry I normal to dry skin and this just works for it. I didn't um the person who I watched uh use this makeup, she has oily skin. So if she could use it and I can use it, that's a good product because a lot of products have to have two different lines, one for oily and one for dry skin. And this is just one line. There's it's not for anything special. No, nope, doesn't say anything for spe some, anything special. So, yeah, I definitely recommend this foundation. I'm done rambling on. I need to wake up. I feel all ugh. I even have caffeine in me, and I still feel yucky. And I keep stuttering, and I keep saying um, and I keep saying and, and I don't know what to do about it. <sighs> but I think I'm just kind of dead. I'm like, for real, 
I need to be making more videos. I feel bad that I haven't been. And now I am. And now they're all boring. And I'm like, what is going on? It's like a replay of my last channel, kind of. But I'm not going to leave you guys. I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to leave you guys. I promise. I'm just going to try and set aside time. I feel like I work so much. I'm like a workaholic. So it's like hard to make videos. But I'm going to try. I'm going to keep going. But yeah, so I am done with this video. Done rambling. Definitely recommend this foundation. Maybelline Superstay Makeup very 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 good uh, make sure you buy it uh, I would say when I make a review on anything make sure you buy it at your own risk because everyone has different skin types everybody has different likes and dislikes and just buy it at your own risk make sure you buy it somewhere where they'll allow you to return it if you break out or if you have any complications with it make sure you buy it where you can return it um, Walgreens is the only place like I said right now that I know sells it and Walgreens will return makeup uh, cosmetics if it doesn't work out for you so uh, go to Walgreens, buy it, you'll like it. If I said Walmart, last sentence, don't listen to that because I didn't get it at Walmart. I got it at Walgreens. I'm telling you, I'm losing my mind right now. Okay, but I'm done. I'm done. Okay, bye guys.